Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry, here is our problem for today. The points U, V and W with their respective coordinates lie on the cycle. We are asked to show that U, V, W has a right angle which is 90 degrees. We are asked to find the coordinates of the center. We are asked to write down the equation of the cycle. Alright, let's get started. A. Suppose we have a cycle like this. According to the question, there are three points U, V, and W on this cycle. And A part asks us to show that U, V, W has a right angle, meaning U, V, W is a triangle. And the only triangle that has a 90 degrees is a right angle triangle. And we know that from the cycle theorem, it is only the diameter that can sustain an angle of 90 degrees to the circumference because this triangle is an inscribed triangle on a cycle. So if we have a diameter here, which is a line that divides the cycle into two equal parts, if you sustain an angle to the circumference from end to end of the diameter, definitely you have to form a 90 degrees. So this is our main goal. But how can we testify whether this UVW has a right angle? We can apply Pythagoras rule, which stated that the length of the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, if you square that, it will be equal to the sum of the square of the two other lines. We have the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. So this is the only way we can test whether that triangle has a right angle. I want to sketch any form of triangle because we don't know which leg is the hypotenuse. So let's assume this is U, V, and W. With their coordinates, let me start with U. We have negative 2, 8, then V, 7, 7. And lastly, we have negative 3, negative 1. Negative 3, negative 1. Okay, we are going to apply distance formula to find the length of these three sides. Let me start with UV. UV squared is equal to X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. I'm not going to write the variables, rather substitute directly. We can choose any point to start with. Let me start from U. We have x, which is negative 2, minus x here, which is 7, all squared. Then plus 8 here for y, minus 7 here for y, again, all squared. So let's simplify this. This is equal to negative 2, negative 7 is negative 9, squared is 8, 1, plus 8 minus 7 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. This is equal to 82. Therefore, uv squared is equal to 82. Okay, now let us move to the other leg. Let me take vw. vw also squared will be equal to, you can start from other points. Let me start from v. We have 7 for x minus minus 3, that is plus 3, whole squared. Then plus y, which is 7 there, minus minus 1, which is plus 1, whole squared. Let's simplify. 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 squared is 100, plus 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 squared is 64. This is 164, that is v w whole squared then the last one which is uw uw whole squared is equal to let me start from u negative 2 here minus negative 3 which is negative 2 plus 3 because of minus minus negative 2 plus 3 whole squared plus then we take 8 minus minus 1, which is 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1, whole squared. Let's simplify. This is equal to 
negative 2 plus 3 is 1, 1 squared is 1, plus 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 squared is 81, and this is equal to 82. That is u w all squared. So we are going to apply Pythagoras rule here, but I have seen that 164 is greater than 82 and 82, which implies that it is the hypotenuse, but let us test. u v squared plus u w squared is this equal to v w squared v w squared if this is true then we conclude that uh, that triangle has a 90 degrees or has a right angle according to our simplification we have learned that this is 82 this is also 82 but this is 164 is the left hand side equal to the right hand side definitely this is 164 which is also 164 then we conclude hence triangle u v w has a right angle answered now in the second question it says we should find the coordinates of the center that is b part so the b part let us draw a cycle we have seen that this is the hypotenuse, which is what? Vw. So let us draw a diameter here. This is diameter. And what are the coordinates of V and W? For V, it is 7, 7. And for W, it is negative 3, negative 1. So this is negative 3, negative 1, while this is 7, 7. So how can we obtain the center of this cycle? The center is just the midpoint. I remember how to find the midpoint. Midpoint is always the coordinates of x2 plus x1 divided by 2, y2 plus y1 also divided by 2. This is how to obtain a midpoint. So now let us substitute this. This is the same thing as x2 plus x1 that is 7 minus 3 divided by 2 7 minus 1 divided by 2 let's simplify this and this is equal to 7 minus 3 is 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 7 minus 1 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 and hence the midpoint is 2 comma 3 which is the center of that cycle 2 comma 3 So we have answered this question. Then the last one, it stated that we should write down the equation of that cycle. How can we do that? Remember the equation of a cycle in standard form is given as x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equal to r squared. A and B are just the center of that cycle, so therefore X minus 2, because A is 2 here, and B is 3, plus, okay, all squared, Y minus 3, all squared, and this is equal to R squared. All right, the only thing we need to find is the R, which is the radius of that cycle. And there are different ways in which we can find the radius of the cycle. We can find the distance from the midpoint down to W. That is from the center down to W. Or from center down to V. Okay, let us use VC. What is the distance between V down to C? You should know that VC is a radius, right? This is radius from the center down to V. So let's find it. We want to find VC. Vc is equal to the square root of what? x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. So this is 7 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared. 7 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 3 also squared. And if you like, you can square both sides. Remember that this is the radius. So radius is equal to the square root of 
7 minus 2 is 5, 5 squared is 25, plus 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 squared is 16. Therefore, r is equal to, we have square root of 41. And since we are looking for r squared, this is equal to 41 if you square both sides. So the only thing we need to replace here is r squared, which is 41. So here is our equation of a cycle. Finally, we can substitute the value of r squared. So we have x minus 2 whole squared plus y minus 3 whole squared. And this is equal to r squared, which is 41. And hence, this is the equation of that cycle. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.